Well, good morning, everyone. This is a glorious February 1st. It's a really warm day out today, and it's just too good, too good a day not to be out here doing something. Today, I kind of want to talk about where I got started in all of this, um, and what, you know, starting our homestead and getting this started. And what I'm sitting on is this is my first garden bed that we started. It's been about five years ago now, and I kind of want to talk about that. I've got gardening is really where this all started for me it was like I wanted to grow a really big garden and uh, so this was where I wanted to get started these beds this first bed I'm sitting on right now it's five foot wide and ten foot long it's got cedar planking on the sides that hold it up and it's held up by uh, four by four and it's all cedar and this corrugated metal I've got uh, drip irrigation that comes up from underneath the bottom and so this first bed, obviously it needs to be filled back up. I need to add, add a lot more compost to it and fill it back up. That's one of the projects for this year. And so let me kind of show you, turn, turn around and show you some of the stuff that goes along with this one. Now I put Sadie in the opening clip there. She's always out here in the garden by my side. She just loves to be outside. So that is Miss Sadie. Back to the garden bed. It's five foot wide. There, those are cedar top and bottom and corrugated metal. We've got drip irrigation coming down. It that needs to kind of get pulled out. It's obviously kind of ugly right now. And this is I've got PVC coming up here, and I can run my drip line off of there. And I'm going to be changing some of that out this year once I get this filled up. This is the first bed that has produced a lot of vegetables for me this, this past year. Well, hello one everyone. I'm dressed a little different, differently today. I was going through doing all of my uh, edits on the videos I made yesterday to post onto this video and realized this section was completely missing. So this bed here behind me is my second bed. And what's unique about this, and this one's different from the other two, is something I threw together at the last minute. It's not from cedar. It's got the corrugated metal, obviously, and it's only four foot by eight foot. It's what I had laying around. The other thing that's unique about it is this more is more of a hugel culture bed. I cut a tree down in the front yard, had a lot of limbs and stuff like that. Instead of you know just going ahead and trying to get rid of it. I went ahead and dumped it inside this bed and then filled a bunch of compost on top of it. Still needs to be filled up with more compost to kind of fill it up. And I think I didn't put enough in there this last season because it didn't really produce the way I was hoping it would produce this last season. So I'm hoping to fill it more up with more compost and get a better production out of it this, this next year coming up. But this is my attempt at Hugo culture. It's a smaller bed. I'll eventually get it, you know, replace it with the cedar sides and get a full-blown 5x10 bed but this is uh th that's the, the story of this bed here it was just kind of something to throw together give me more growing space i wanted to try the hugo culture um, concept as well we'll see how this goes as well this year as some of the uh timbers and stuff in there are breaking down more it should add more uh, fertility to the soil so we'll kind of see how that goes just kind of wanted to add this in here. This is obviously a different day than when I did the rest of the video in. So um, that's, that's bed to talk to you later. Bye. It's the middle of winter, so it's kind of maybe hard to see, but I've got water hose going in there and it feeds into here and comes up here and feeds my drip lines there. Right now, I've got those are onions that I planted a couple of weeks ago. This here is all garlic that I've got going in there. This cabbage, this is kind of unique. I've had this, this is a savoy cabbage, and he's been in there almost a year. I'm hoping he developed a nice big head by the end of the end of the spring. So I'm just kind of leaving him there and hoping that that cabbage grows up quite a bit more and then this is some flat leaf parsley 
that we put in there. So that's my third bed, and that's the three beds. And this is really what got me started in all of this. My plans for this year are on this first bed over here. I'm gonna fill this guy up completely. <laughs> and I'm gonna put probably, I'm gonna fill it up with Amish tomatoes, uh, tomato plants, and that's what is gonna grow in here. I'm probably gonna go three wide, because I'm kind of down to 20 inches apart is what I want on spacing. And I think it's gonna be six deep, six or seven deep. So I'm looking at about 28, 25, 28 plants to fill up this whole bed. I'm going to put trellises up, and so they're going to go up here, and so this whole bed is going to be filled with nothing but Amish paste tomatoes. That's the plan for here. On this second bed, this is going to be nothing but green beans. I'm going to do whole beans. I've already got the seeds and everything for that. And we're going to uh, do a whole bunch of pole beans in here. I'll again have more trellises going across and they'll go up there. And then this one we've already got planted. We've got my garlic, I've got my onions. Parsley's going to stay here. We'll do that throughout the spring and the summer. When those come out, actually I'll probably come back with more garlic and tomatoes at a little bit later date. And that's what this bed is going to be for for the immediate future. And now we'll kind of see how things go, see if I change plans or anything like that going forward. So that's my garden plans for this year. Um, we'll see how things go. I may take you guys on the video a little bit later and uh, show you my seed starting. I haven't decided whether I'll do it. You know what? I'm going to do a completely different video on my seed starting. And what we're going to get started on that, it'll take you long on getting the tomatoes started and on that adventure as well. So. That, that's it. That's my garden. I hope my plans long term, I'm going to, I'll probably want 20 or 30 of these kinds of beds. Um, they're a little bit on the pricey side without doubt, but I want to can just kind of fill up the majority of this yard with these garden beds and have, have a abundantly production, you know, productive garden. I'd like to have one bed dedicated to just like asparagus. Um, have a few beds that are for my winter garden stuff or spring, you know, the fall garden, some of them just for summer stuff. So I want to be able to do a lot more with gardening stuff, but it's going to be a progress. It's not going to all happen at one time. Um, we'll build them as, as a, the finances and the budget allows. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, that's where we're going from here. Love you guys. And we'll have a great week. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.